14, Weird Sea Discoveries. Number 14. Did you know that scientists discovered over 1,400 new species in our oceans between 2014 and 2015? Some of the creatures found include the frilled shark, found off the coast of Namibia. Scary looking indeed, this animal is three feet long and found in extremely deep waters, feasting on squid and small sharks. Its hooked, needle-like teeth can snatch prey almost as big as itself. Number 13. The Indonesian psychedelic frogfish, discovered by marine experts off Ambon Island in Indonesia, can push itself off the seabed, not unlike a frog with a jet of water, then assume a ball-like shape and bounce along the ocean floor. Number 12. The skeleton shrimp, found off the Southern California coast, was living in a cave. It's only an eighth of an inch long and is also known as a ghost shrimp due to its slender, transparent body that allows the animal to camouflage itself among thin filaments of seaweed, essentially hiding in plain sight from predators. Number 11. This creature is the polychaete carpet worm found off the coast of Japan. The parasitic worm was living in a whale's carcass some 2,700 feet deep. Number 10. The Kissinger gigas jellyfish was discovered by marine explorers off the northwest coast of Australia. It's as long as a person's arm and venomous. Its sting can induce vomiting, pain, and in some extreme cases, stroke or heart failure. Unlike most jellyfish, this one has no tentacles, as you can see in the picture. The lack of tentacles has researchers puzzled as to how this jelly catches its prey or how it can transmit its sting. Some theories suggest the animal may have tentacles, but sheds them as a defense mechanism of some sort, or that its bell-shaped structure holds enough toxin to negate the need for tentacles altogether. Number nine. Hybrid sharks. The world's first hybrid sharks were found off Australian waters, and researchers think the implications could have a worldwide impact. In all, 57 hybrid sharks were discovered between a 200-kilometer area, ranging from Queensland to New South Wales. The predators carried DNA from the common black-tipped shark and the Australian black-tipped shark, a mating that marine biologists call unprecedented. It's also possible that if the hybrids prove stronger than the two pure breeds, it could replace them eventually. We couldn't find an exact size for the hybrid sharks, but the Australian black tip generally grows to nearly six feet, while the common black tip grows to around five feet long. Number eight. Raven whales. In June 2014, the 24-foot-long corpse of a beaked whale washed ashore on St. George Island in the Alaskan Bering Sea. It presented a mystery, since the creature was too small and too dark to be a Baird's beaked whale. You can see the creature in this picture by Christian Hagenlocker, the person who first spotted it beached on the island. It looks gray and pinkish due to the bloated blubber. Look closely and you can see small patches of the whale's black skin that remain over the bloated blubber, although you might have to strain your eyes a bit to make it out. Now in another picture by Karen Holzer, it shows a closer angle of the whale. You can clearly see the beak shape and you get a better look at the bits of black skin that are still clinging to the blubber. After extensive research, DNA testing revealed it was a rare new species of black beaked whale, around two-thirds the size of Baird's beaked whale, but possessing a larger dorsal fin. The new species has not been officially named as yet, but Japanese whalers had termed the rarely seen animals karasu, or raven whales. They're thought to range across the Pacific Ocean from northern Japan to Alaska's Aleutian Islands. Number seven, ruby sea dragon. Similar to seahorses, but they can easily blend into their environments thanks to the strange appendages that cover them. Two versions of sea dragons were previously known to science, the yellow and purple common sea dragon and the orange-colored leafy sea dragon. But this third species, the ruby sea dragon, was unknown until first described in 2015. And that gives it the distinction of being the first new species of sea dragon discovered in the past 150 years. It's thought the red coloration helps the animal better camouflage itself in the deep waters along the coast of Western Australia. Number six. The cat shark. Wow, what a name, right? Well, this new species of sea creature was discovered living in the southwestern Indian Ocean. 
and is usually referred to as the dusky snout catshark. This deep diver is known to grow to around one and a half feet long and lives anywhere from 300 feet to a mile below the ocean surface. Number five. The coral plant. Okay, we are throwing you a bit of a curveball here. This looks like an undersea coral though, right? But the picture is a little misleading. It's actually a parasitic plant that doesn't grow in the ocean at all. It's actually found on the slopes of Mount Mingan in the Philippines. The plant's branching, weird-looking tubers give it that coral-like appearance. Did you know that parasitic plants like this contain no chlorophyll and are incapable of photosynthesis? They draw their sustenance from other plants. Number four, the undersea mushroom. Well, it's not a fungus, but an undersea animal. Not much is known about this creature as yet. It was found on the sea floor off of Victoria, Australia, at a depth of some 3,200 feet. It's thought to be related to jellyfish, sea anemones, or to comb jellies, or they could be something entirely different. Like we said, not a lot is known about them, but this animal is small, with its stalk measuring less than a third of an inch in length, while its cap is less than a half inch across. Number three, the worm eel. The gigantic deep water worm eel was discovered in 2011 in the Verde Island Passage in the Philippines. Gigantic would be an apropos term for this creature. The worm eel is the largest of its kind, measuring some 50 inches from head to tail. That makes it almost twice as long as other known worm eels, and it's about three times heavier than other known worm species as well. Number two, Cannibal Shark. Sounds like the title of a bad cable movie, right? But scientists who had been tracking a nine foot long great white got a surprise when they recovered its tag. The shark had suddenly dove over 1900 feet. The temperature recorded on the tag went from 46 degrees to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. There was only one way a temperature change could occur that swiftly if that shark had been eaten by something bigger than itself. Instances surrounding this great white mystery are still a bit unclear. It's even been conjectured the shark might have fought with a killer whale, but a more colorful theory involves a two-ton cannibal great white shark eating its own kind. Number one. Was a shaggy sea monster washed ashore on a beach in Cornwall, England? Sure looks that way, doesn't it? But the monster is actually a huge tree trunk over which is draped a writhing mass of seaweed tentacles and barnacles. The creature, quote unquote, measures around 40 feet and is thought to have spent months at sea having been uprooted from Florida's Everglades. Along the way, the tree trunk picked up some passengers in the form of goose barnacles, which have a remarkable resemblance to clamshells, as you can see in these pictures. The barnacles often attach themselves to ship's hulls, driftwood, and other floating objects. And although you might not guess it from this photo, goose barnacles are an expensive and widely consumed delicacy in Spain and Portugal, where they are known as persibais. They're said to have a briny taste and are served steaming hot with the shell still attached.